Signage, Manny. Signs are the answer. It says right here, signage can increase your business up to 48%. You're kidding. I'm quoting Hamburger Quarterly. HQ does not kid. Uh-uh. Look. Toxic waste dump? They sent the wrong sign! Either that or they've tasted your chili. watch it and let all these other channels go to waste and here try it whoa wrong button Todd I'm serious we watch TV all the time let's do something romantic Liz what could be more romantic than cuddling on a comfy couch in the soft glow the television screen has got you down. Try Fun X. Say goodbye to scaly, itchy, smelly feet. Remember. Take a look at this. It's an article on romantic weekend. Liz, 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 I don't need a newspaper to plan a romantic weekend. I, I can do it on my own. Really? Yes. Right after the Canadian ping pong finals. such a shock. You never think it'll happen to you. I never even saw it coming. I still can't believe it. You're one of the uninvited to the Patman Silver and Gold Ball, the biggest social event of the season. Where did we go wrong? We're too young to be snubbed. Are you absolutely positive we're not invited? Check again. I checked 20 times. The guest list is printed right here. Maybe it's wrong. The social excluder is never wrong. Fine. So we're not invited. It'll probably be a bunch of stuffy people anyway. You're right. Just a bunch of boring old people. Like Randall Winthrop? Who? Randall Winthrop. Second year Harvard, six digit trust fund, captain of the polo team. See? What did I tell you? A bunch of stuffy people who play polo. Snare if you like, but you're missing out on Chandler Harding. So? Kicked out of every prep school on the eastern seaboard. Gave up a modeling career to drive race cars around Europe. He used to model. Uh-huh. Oh, look. His father also owns Harding Film Studios. Desperate times call for desperate measures. There's only one person who can help us. You don't mean... I'm afraid so. You ever have one of those days where you just can't do anything right? Yeah. Every day. At least your dad isn't sending you to military school. What happened? I insulted the ambassador of Santa Dora. That's not good. How is I supposed to know that where he comes from? This means your wife looks like a warthog. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's, it's not funny. My pop didn't think so either. He said if I don't clean up my act, I'll be bunking with my cousin Bruce at military school. Nice. So what does he expect you to do? Start dressing in a monkey suit and talking like a regular hondo and impress all of his snobby friends this stupid silver and gold shindig all you have to do is dress up pose a lot and act really shallow come on the trick is to be really snobby how do i learn how to do that hey cowboy bingo you've got to get us invited to your dad's silver and gold ball you want to go to that quimby fest yeah so you'll put us on the list, right? I could probably wrangle something. For a price. Huh? Huh? You want to get into the silver and gold ball. My man Shred here doesn't want to go to military school. You have such a gift for saying the obvious. Thank you. So here's the deal. Shred will get you into the party only after you give him a crash course in etiquette. You know, posing, acting shallow, all that stuff you do so well. Flattery will get you nowhere. Take it or leave it. Uh-uh. Let me try again. Score! Oh, oh. Here's the weekend you've been waiting for. Great! Okay. First we start off at the batting cages, side by side. I'll bat left-handed so we can face each other. Now that's romantic. 
Okay, and then? And then it's off to a candlelit dinner at the medieval trough. You know, that's the restaurant where you can only eat with your hands. Wow, mm -hmm. I'm getting goosebumps. Wait, there's more. I'm afraid. We have two front row ringside tickets to Sunday's sold out hockey game. We will be so close to the ice list, we will be able to hear their bones break. Todd, we're supposed to have a romantic weekend. That is romantic. Yeah, if you're a Viking. So I suppose you could plan a better one. It might take 10 minutes, but I think I can handle it. Fine. Fine. I have enough wattage in this sign to light up Dodger Stadium. They're going to be able to see it from the space shuttle. How can you afford all this anyway? The passing costs on to the customer. Hey, five dollars for a Pepsi? Are you ready for a weekend you'll never forget? Let's hear it. You start off with a romantic gourmet vegetarian dinner at the Blushing Zucchini. Uh, you think if I brought steak they'd cook it for me? Then we head down to the range off room for some ballroom dancing. Wake me when it's over. And we cap off our evening with a bookstore reading by Tony Morrison. Who's he? She won the Pulitzer Prize. Uh, I'm sorry. I must have dozed off. What were you saying? Obviously, you're clueless when it comes to romance. I'm clueless. Liz, your idea of romance is watching someone read. You know what? Forget spending the weekend together. I'm going to the Oracle. That's fine with me. There's plenty of sports on this weekend. I just got a great idea for an article. The death of romance in the 90s. Perfect. You're the expert. First, lose the gun. Why? No questions. Just sit it out here. Bad idea, Lilac. That vase was given to my pops by King Tiki Masala. It's way valuable. One scratch, and I'm off to military school. Okay, fine. Ew! What now? This is hopeless. You don't have to be so harsh. Harsh? You want harsh? Try getting up at the crack of dawn and running ten miles before breakfast with a shaved head. Chooses food. Looks like we're going to the ball. Definitely. You're way there. And I'm way here. No military school for the shredster. Thanks, Jessica. Thanks, Lila. Let go of me. That's it, Reginald. Pack your bags. You're going to military school. Call me Private Shred. Guess I better start packing. We're still going to the party, right? Private Shred? <laughs> it's second and 25. Todd, you've been sitting here watching TV for eight hours. What's your point? Well, that little screen is bad for your eyes. You should watch a big TV. Like the one at your house. But I've got everything I need right here. A TV, a comfy booth, people bringing me food. Got any pillows? Winston, what time are you turning on the big sign? At exactly 8 o'clock. That thing's huge. You're going to blind the whole town. 
Not if they wear my Moonbeach sunglasses on sale for $29.99. 30 bucks for a pair of sunglasses? I've got a sign to pay for. Maybe you should take out some TV ads. <laughs> Romance used to mean holding hands. Now it means holding remote control. Were you a model? I'll never find Chandler this way. Can't we just make an announcement? Good evening, mademoiselle. Who let you in? I figured since I've got nothing to lose, might as well give it a shot. Who knows? The old man might come around. Check it out. The dude is rude. Crudely chooses food. Very nice. And make yourself useful. I'm Chandler Harding and Amanda Winthrop and point him out to us. Very well, madame. Mmm, <sighs> these are simply divine. The dude is rude who crudely chooses food. Well said, my good chap. It's so good to see you. Thank you all for coming tonight. We can hear you. There's only six of us. Not for long. Yeah, right. This new sign will become a beacon to the hungry, the thirsty, the burgerless masses yearning to be fed. Just turn on the sign. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Moon Beach. <laughs> Uh, 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 Winston, your sign just wiped out the entire town. Uh, uh, think anyone will notice? Only the ones who can see. A blackout? I can't believe it. Mr. Bradford. There they are. The lights, what happened? Boogeyman's gone and there's no monster under your table. What's going on? Winston's sign just blacked out the whole town. Shh. You trying to get me arrested? Uh, I gotta find Liz. Wait, Todd, Todd. If anyone asks, hey, hey, if anyone asks, you don't know anything about any sign. Got it? Yeah. Be yeah. careful driving out there. It could be dangerous. Oh, I'll be fine. It's Liz I'm worried about. Liz! Wake up! It's time to get romantic, honey pie. Oh, what do we have here? <sighs> Spinach souffle for two! It's funny. I used to hate vegetables, but now I love everything you love, my love. What are you doing? You're right, as always. We'll eat later. else for you. I remembered how much you like to read. So I wrote you a poem. 
this. We are alike, both you and me. We are two leaves from the same tree. We are two fish swimming in the sea. ballroom dancing, would you? Not really. I'm so glad you said that. <laughs> How's a hockey game sound to you? Terrible. Great. I know a romantic evening we can both agree on. What? A blackout. <laughs> Here. You should really get a better sign. 